Hello! Today I want to create a Minecraft border using these adorable Oxide Daisy pushpins I made for another project. So the basic idea of what I want to try doing is creating grass blocks and dirt blocks around the page border and then having the Oxide Daisy pins as a layer above that. I'm not sure if I want to do it in color or in black and white, so I'm going to test that out. Most of my borders so far have been in black and white or shades of gray, but a Minecraft border might do really well with some color. This is a technique I find pretty useful for getting an array of colors, especially if you want to create map elevation or you just want a variety of colors between, say, a nice blue and a green. The first thing you want to do is create a little square and make it one of the colors that you want. And then you can hit Control D, that duplicates that square. Then you hit control and then drag that second square across as far as you want it. Next, you select the color of the second square. After that, you select both of your squares and you're going to go to path and select object to path. If you don't do this step, the next thing will not work. And you may be there for a while getting frustrated as I have in the past. Now, to get your color array, you're going to go to Extensions, Generate from Path, and Interpolate. Once you get into Interpolate, you'll have a variety of settings that you can play with. You can use Live Preview to kind of see what those settings will do while you're doing them. Once you find something you like, go ahead and hit Apply. And there is your nice array of colors. What I'm doing here is using the Rearrange tools under Align and Distribute to sort of try and create a more random appearance of the different colors that I've selected. I do this again with the dirt colors that I've selected and I think the randomness is a lot more apparent here. As with the grass blocks, we're only working with two to three layers into the 16 layer block. When we try to create randomness on our own, our minds have a tendency to accidentally create patterns. And so I do find that toggling between the rearrange tools creates something more random and also sometimes more appealing than I would have been able to do on my own.
This piece is just about finished. I hope you enjoyed it. I tried to include some notes on some of the things that I did in the piece, but I didn't give a full explanation. I might do some more in-depth explanations in the future, or maybe I'll chat over top. I'm not sure. We'll see how this plays out. And that's all for today. My name is Lillian. This is Fairy Oasis, and I hope you have a lovely day. Ta-ta!